To find the oxidation number for each element here in MgCO3, that's magnesium carbonate, we're going to use these rules here. So the first thing we need to know is this is a neutral compound. So there's no plus or a minus charge up here like we'd see with an ion. This is neutral. And if we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's really useful. Let's see, we have magnesium here. That's in group two on the periodic table. That's going to have an oxidation number of plus two. Carbon, you won't see that in our rules. It can have variable oxidation states. But oxygen, oxygen is minus two, except in just a few occasions. So right here, it's minus two. So we're trying to find the oxidation number on the carbon. So with this information and the fact that this will all add up to zero, we can just write an equation. We could say plus two plus X, that's the carbon we're trying to find, plus we have three oxygen atoms and each one has a minus two as its oxidation number. So three times minus two, that's minus six. All of that, that equals zero. So we have X minus four equals zero. So X, that has to equal a positive four. So the oxidation number on the carbon here, that's going to be plus four. And all these numbers, they'll add up to zero. Because remember, we have three of these oxygens and each one's minus two. So if you add up all the oxidation numbers on each element here, we're going to end up with plus four for the carbon in MgCO3, magnesium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.